Once we have clearly established the staging of the periodontitis case, then we should move to uh, grading the patient. And to grade the patient appropriately, we basically have two ways. Whether we have existing records or whether we do not have at our disposal existing records. If we don't have existing records, let's move to the step 4A. Previous records are not available. So then we need to evaluate the bone loss to age ratio. Normally from the, from the full mouth radiographs that we have used for the staging. If the bone loss to age ratio is between 0 0.5 and 1, then the diagnosis is grade B periodontitis, which should be the default progression for a periodontitis. If it is less than 0 0.25, then the diagnosis should be grade A periodontitis, which is the slowly progressive periodontitis or periodontitis of a slow progression. On the contrary, if this ratio is higher than 1, then the diagnosis is grade C periodontitis, which is a periodontitis of rapid or high progression. Grades A and B can be modified if the patient has clear risk factors, that is, if the patient smokes or is a non-compensated diabetic patient. So when the patient smokes 10 or more cigarettes per day, this will upgrade the grades A, B to grade C. While one who smokes fewer than 10 cigarettes will be maintained in grade B or maintained in grade A. Similarly, a diabetic patient with HbA1c levels below 7 will be maintained in grade B or maintained in grade A. However, when levels of HbA1c are higher than 10, it will be upgraded to C.